Oh, hi there. You know, people talk about how decorating cakes is really difficult, but it's not that hard. You just need a good base, some frosting, a few sprinkles, and you've got yourself a blue ribbon worthy decorated cake. Oh, well, apparently there's a little bit more to it than I thought. Today, I'm at the Elwell Family Food Center, where judges have the difficult task of choosing the best and most impressive decorated cakes. Flawless icing, fine and neat piping, and showing as much creativity as possible. So as you're walking around looking at these cakes, you have a very serious look on your face. What are you noticing and what are you looking for? Perfection. <laughs> okay. Uniqueness, individuality, creativity, a high level of execution and precision, a variety of skills used, and a proficiency with each one of those skills. They will stand out. If you see a cake that's near perfect, it gets your eye. Judy, can you tell us about this amazing cake? It's a steampunk theme, and that's a mixture of fantasy, science fiction, corsets, top hats, anything mechanical, anything powered by steam, goggles. It looks like it's made out of wood, but you say we can eat it. You can eat every inch of that cake, including the board that's covered in fondant. There's nothing on that cake that you cannot pop in your mouth right this minute. So ladies, wonderful cake you submitted here. Can you describe it for me? Yes, it is a cake ball cake. So they're, um, it's a styrofoam cake covered with cake balls, which are just truffles that instead of chocolate in the middle, it's cake. Um, and then we form that to look like a wedding cake. Can I just ask you how you got it here? Was it nerve wracking? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, delivering the cake ball cakes is, is horrible. Well, the good thing is there are no bumps at the state fairgrounds. Yes, we are right. thankful for that. <laughs> How long do you think most of these cakes take? Hours. I have figured up over 100 hours. In the last week and a half? In the last week and a half. You must be tired. I've had no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> in cake decorating, you're only limited by your imagination, what your client wants. And in this particular case, because you're not working for a client, it's up to the artist with how far they're willing to go with their imagination. From the Elwell Center, I'm Jennifer Conferst, saying that this competition really takes the cake.